friends welcome back to my channel and today we'll be doing a color with me session and let's get those disclaimers out of the way and then hop into it of course before i get started i do have those disclaimers to get out of the way i live near a major highway here in the country of belize so you will hear those motor vehicles in my background where i live there's also a lot of wild birds you may hear them calling chirping and crying in the background and thirdly, I have dogs. I have dogs, my neighbors have dogs. So if anyone comes in this neighborhood, you will hear those dogs, including my own, start barking. And with that, I get back to my regular scheduled program. Okay, so for today's Color With Me session, I'm hoping you see the little uh, head in here. We'll be working with the Artist Love watercolor paints. Yes, I have here the 36 set, I believe. And don't come at me, guys. These are actually... I won't say pretty good. I will say they are okay watercolor cakes. Um, it's not, it reminds me of those paints you you get for your six year old when they when you want them to practice um, painting. That's what it reminds me of. And so it is a very good paint to give a up and coming artist, maybe a child. But I do enjoy working with these paints. I have worked with them before. I have done practice sessions and off-camera session with these paints. So I wanted to use them in a Color With Me session. Actually, as you can see here, these paints are actually well used. I've used them a lot. These were actually, when I started this journey in art, these were actually the first, the very first watercolor paints I ever bought. And um, the thing that I don't like about these is not its chalkiness. It's actually the fact that when you wet them, it absorbs the water and it doesn't give you much paint to paint with. And so you basically have to drown them in water for you to have paints to paint with. And that's the factor that I don't like with these. I mean, if you could wet these paints and they're able to be, you know, to give off a lot of paint in the, um, a lot of paint, it will be great. But you literally have to continuously drown them with water because the cakes actually absorb water like a sponge, literally like a sponge that when you go back to paint with a color, you actually have to re-wet that color to get more color off it. So that's the only thing I don't like about these. But all in all, I work with them. I do enjoy working with them. And I'm going to be using them to color, to render this piece. I have a swatch grid all plot out because I think I want to do it as a limited color challenge. And um, I have my color palette for these paints right here. So that I could reference it as I work. And now that you know what I'm doing, let's hop to it okay guys so what was our intention in doing this um, it was just basically to highlight the pumpkin as much as possible you know to try to bring that out not so much the wheelbarrow I mean it's to show that the wheelbarrow is there but it's mostly to feature most of that pumpkin so that's why I'm going in with the yellow highlights here I was originally going to do this as a limited color challenge but I had 36 colors to work with so I didn't do any kind of color mixing whatsoever and I just basically use the palettes, the colors straight from the palettes. And being that artist love, it does have color names on the packaging, but it doesn't correspond with the color names that are in, that the colors that are in there. Cause I don't know what order, the order that it's on the packaging is not the order that is presented. So I don't know what color names those are. So I can't even tell you what color I use. I can say that I use orange mostly for the pumpkin and what I would call a deep yellow. I went in there with some orange red to the bottom to kind of show shadowing and shading of the pumpkin while it's in the wheelbarrow. 
also um, and that's basically my intention just to highlight the pumpkin to bring that pumpkin out and to show it separate um, I try as much as possible not to cover my lines too much because with artist love because it's so chalky the paint is so chalky and yes guys it is chalky I will put a picture of my water to show you how chalky these paints are it does tend to cover your line work so you might have to go back in there and I will go back in there and um, re uh, line some of those lines that have been hidden now I'm going into the wheelbarrow stand with some grays to show that is kind of metallic and then I use the gray very concentrated to show the back one just to kind of like, again just to try to highlight that pumpkin and you will see me use brown here everything I'm doing right now is to highlight the pumpkin even the colors I choose for the wheelbarrows board that brown the black um, the set I have have this black and it's really black I mean it's like piercing through black what I tell you everything I do is to highlight the pumpkin so I'm going in with the dark blue I made a little boo-boo there I'm cleaning it up but you'll see me correct that in a minute just trying to clean it up I cleaned up as best I could wait for it to dry and then put a little strip around there so that when I go back in there it doesn't look like it's been a big boo-boo and it actually doesn't actually looks good go in there now with the greens and as again you see me going trying to fix that mistake I did and see perfect you didn't even know I made a boo-boo and now I'm doing the outer part of the wheelbarrow I'm using a lighter blue than the one that I use from the inside again just to highlight the pumpkin to bring that pumpkin forward and to regress the wheelbarrow that it's standing and I'm hoping that I accomplished that thank you guys so much um, just again just trying to do the greens thank you guys so much thank you guys for all your support all your likes all your comments it means so much to me and guys enjoy the rest of the music and I will see you in the end piece bye guys Okay guys I am finished and what I did here is that I swatched out the colors that I use from this 36 set and as you can see I did use a plethora of colors and you can see my water was very chalky um it was very muddy but very chalky at the same time so I know that these artist love paints does have a lot of fillers in them and um, you have to be aware of that the thing about these artist love paints that I think that a lot of artists don't tell you is that and then this is the reason why I like um, he's not ACDC he's AC Art Attack what I like about his product reviews is that one of the things he stressed in his product reviews is that you need to work with the medium and not let the medium work for you and basically what he's meaning to say is that there are certain mediums that are out there that they have a different way that you can work with them to bring out the best in those medium and I think that's what he's meaning you know you need to work with the medium you know not every single medium might work with you some of them you have to work for them and try to bring out the best in them because you know like the artist artist loft watercolors is very chalky it is very opaque so it doesn't behave like traditional watercolor paints it doesn't move in the water I mean it's basically it stays still it is very opaque and very thick and you cannot get and if when you do get a tin layer it just looks gritty and grainy and basically to work with this medium you need to to work with this medium you need to work for it and to understand how this medium work it's almost like a mixture between watercolor and gouache you know the way you work with a gouache is a, and watercolor you just kind of marriage the two together and that's the way you work with the artist loft and you'll bring out the best in the artist loft 
that way in the sense that if you try to layer the artist loft it will not layer completely i mean you will have some reactivation of the under layer ways like that and that's where i met it here where i made that mistake so in order to cover up the mistake i made here and this is completely dry the, in order for me to cover up the mistake i made here what i had to do is wait for it to completely dry then go over it with a thicker layer of this same color consistency here and put these two together to try to create this effect again and that's what I mean you need to work for the medium and not necessarily make the medium work for you in order to match that medium with your art style okay um, after that long narration of and these are some of the things guys that I learned in this journey in art um, watercolors I like to say have personalities and like people everybody has a different personality therefore each watercolor each set of watercolor each brand of watercolor have different personalities and we as artists just have to tap into that um, talent that they have and try to bring out the best in them you're almost like a coach trying to coach out these watercolors and say come on come on you can do it you can do it you can do it and you know just some of the fun things I learned on this journey in art how I love working for some of these mediums and how I like to coach these mediums to work for me and you know it it is it is interesting to see those things coming out in your artwork but thank you guys so much for joining me on this journey and as always stay safe stay blessed and i'll see you in the next one bye